finished. So I'll zoom in on the screen, although you probably won't see too much. Uh, and then that one. Let's try. So yeah, it's uh, it's got a battery backup on the back, like a battery boost thing. Um, not many buttons on it. Uh, On-off switch on the back as well, which is part of the original thingy. It's very flat. Uh, I'll try and play it, but it's bloody difficult. Yeah, one handed. Um, so, yeah, that's MAME. Uh, it's stereo sound as well, because when I put my um, lit lamp module in there, it's, uh, it's a stereo amp. So, because I've got the GPIO 13 and 18 wired up to do left and right sound, I just passed it through and, and left it stereo. So, the speakers are actually uh, they're stuck on the inside of this, they're hot glued in. On the back there, uh, there was a single speaker port on the back of the unit behind where there is, but it was uh, it was going to be covered up anyway, so not a problem. But yeah, it's uh, screen's nice and straight, I think, as far as I can get it. The um, playing about with the overscan and the margins and stuff that was uh, interesting. Um, took a lot of back and forth. Uh, don't know if this has the music from the uh, computer ones. We'll give it a go. Yes. Can't play it when I'm dead. Die, mother. There you go. So, that's it. Done. Um, little one day project. Um, this was a mini arcade thingy that I got from like a gadget shop. It was about £20. And um, the screen is a BW. Um, Five inch, no, B and, uh, yeah, B&W five inch screen, I think it is. Um, you get them on Amazon and eBay. They're about a tenner, and the composite video, um, and it requires twelve volts, but it uses a twelve volt to five volt step down chip. So you take the chip off, and you uh, just patch the power in on the five volt side. So it it just sidesteps that whole uh, part of the circuit. Screen runs absolutely fine. I mean, it's composite video, so it's a bit soft. But to be honest with you, at that at that size, um, it's really not noticeable. Uh, and that's mounted at portrait because the screen itself is about that big, and it sinks right down into the case. Um, but it was just the right height to be this width, so, so that was quite nice. Um, And it's a Raspberry Pi Zero in there. I'm just going to go and try and find Outrun. I don't know why I'm there. Uh, now, Outrun, a lot of the um, these Sega games uh, really drag on the, uh, the Pi Zero. The Pi Zero is um, clocked at a gig, which is its standard. It's not overclocked. Um, and it is... Uh, a little bit struggling. I've got some frame skip set up for the, some of these games, um, so we'll give it a go. And it's also it's in widescreen for some reason. This one game is widescreen, so it doesn't use all of the interface. Uh, 
so you can hear it's a bit chuggy at the beginning. No. Once you get going, it's fine. So again, I, because I don't have all the buttons, so I've got down on the joystick is gear change. Hey, hey, hey. It doesn't sound too bad. Fine. There we go. So yeah, there we go. One day build, mini arcade, USB powered from a power bank. That was uh, B&M Bargains, I think it was about 7 quid. 4,000 milliamp power, or so it claims. Um, it's only on one, one dot left, and it's been running for a couple of hours now, actually. Um, so yeah, there we go. Really pleased. Thanks a lot. Bye.